Now, we all know that uh, an extensive public road systems, systems offer enormous economic benefits and convenience to our people, decongesting traffic volume, reducing travel time, and spreading the population density out of our cities, not to mention happier citizens if traffic were indeed reduced. The Tallwish Group always believes uh, in the potential that the public-private sector partnerships offer. And we thank the President for his support and the local government officials for their support as well for making it feasible to undertake consequential projects such as these that we inaugurated today. They should make our country more competitive, inclusive, and united, which future generations can look back and appreciate. So thank you to all of you, in particular the President, for your attendance today and a good day to all. Good morning. Thank you very much, Chairman MVP. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Thank you uh, for your introduction, Secretary Manny uh, Bunuan. Please, uh, please take your seat. Uh, the uh, honorable members of the Senate, we have here uh, Senator Cynthia. Uh, Villar and Senator Mark Villar, who have uh, been uh, instrumental uh, and, uh, in helping us, especially on the Las Piñas section of uh, this, uh, this project. So, thank you very much. <laughs> Members of the uh, House of Representatives and, uh, of course, the Chairman of Metro Pacific Investments, uh, Chairman and uh, CEO, uh, Manny uh, Pangilinan, <laughs> and the former uh, Secretary of uh, Department of Public Works and uh, Highways, uh, Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation President and CEO, uh, Babe Singson. <laughs> Paranaque City, Mayor Eric Olivares, the uh, other local uh, government officials here present, uh, my fellow workers in government, friends and partners from uh, the, par the private sector, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. When I assumed office nearly two years ago, I brought with me a promise to carry on the building of infrastructure projects that will benefit our economy and our people. It's not just now build, 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 but build better more, because Filipinos deserve nothing less than that. 
So I stand here today to deliver on that promise with the groundbreaking of the Cavitex Calax link in Kawit Cavite and the Cavitex C5 link segment 3B in Paranaque City and of course the inauguration of the Cavitex C5 link Sukat interchange. These three milestone projects bring to reality our promise to transform the lives of millions of Filipinos by systematically easing traffic flow in the greater metro Manila area. The cavite Calax link originating from Kawit cavite is a 1.2 kilometer connection whose length may be short, but its impact will be substantial. With this, we anticipate a significant improvement in the road network connectivity from Kawit to the greater Calabarzon region. A dramatic improvement from the usual one hour travel time via existing public roads from Kawit cavite this segment is set to benefit around 23,000 vehicles a day. And uh, I was just mentioning when that fair figure came out, I said, maliit yan. Before you know it, that 23,000 uh, uh, motorists that uh, we are estimating for now, that will fill up very quickly as soon as they see the advantages of uh, traveling on this, uh, really what is the bypass and circular route around the, the city. This will enhance our travel efficiency and ease commutes for our citizens. Finally, we have the Cavitex C5 Link Expressway Segment 3B. This is a two-kilometer road coming from Sukat Interchange going to E. Rodriguez in C5 Road, Taguig. Upon completion, we expect that the travel time from Cavitex R1 Expressway Section to uh, uh, Slex C5 Road will, be, will greatly be reduced from what is now 40 minutes to 10 minutes. But uh, this, these, these are, these are uh, very rough figures. You have to, we have to put into that, uh, you have to impute into that uh, formulation uh, the delays that come on because of going into what uh, are referred to sometimes as the surface roads that go into uh, the city into Metro Manila. Pagka na, naka-iwas tayo dun, napakalaking bagay. And I think that, uh, again, uh, our estimates, although already optimistic, I think will very quickly um, become, uh, will, will very quickly be filled up and surpassed. Uh, so, uh, but that is, a good, uh, that is a good thing because that means that the traffic that is going from uh, the different parts of the country uh, through up up north, through uh, down south, through Man and no longer through Manila, will immediately in, in, will immediately enjoy all those benefits of a much easier, much faster, and much simpler. Uh, and we don't need to worry that much about traffic as we are uh, having to do now. And that will again uh, be to the benefit of our small businessmen, to our farmers, and all of those who require transportation for their uh, livelihood. So it also marks the final step in completing the Cavitex C5 Link Expressway, enhancing our transportation infrastructure network on behalf of countless motorists and passengers. So I now invite my fellow Filipinos to take advantage of our expressways, experience firsthand the ease and convenience that these roads will bring to our daily lives. This is especially so after receiving the good news that the PRA or the Philippine Reclamation Authority as operator of the Cavitex proposed to suspend the collection of toll fees for all types of vehicles passing through the Manila Cavite Toll Expressway in Taguig, Paranaque, Las Piñas, Bacoor and Cavit for 30 days. And this will uh, introduce our, uh, our new our new uh, roads to uh, expressways to uh, those who are in need of that transport system. So we welcome this call and thank the PRA for its initiative to help mitigate the impact of rising fuel costs to our motorists. I now count, I now count on our toll regulatory board to ensure the immediate implementation for the benefit of the riding and the, transp the transport public. Ladies and gentlemen, these flagship PPP projects are the results of a great deal of hard work, thorough planning, and collaborative efforts of the Philippine Reclamation Authority, the Cavitex Infrastructure Corporation, and of course, its principal company, the Metro Pacific Tollways Corporation. We thank you for making these monumental endeavors possible.
We also give our sincerest gratitude to the architects, the engineers, construction workers, the project managers, and all the individuals involved in these accomplishments. You are the reason why we can turn blueprints into actual reality. And I assure you that your work, your patience, and your sacrifice will leave a lasting impact on our country and on our people. And we give thanks, of course, to the Filipino public for their patience, understanding, and support while we work to complete these large projects. As always, as I always say, uni unity is at the heart of these undertakings, and we have come this far because we have worked together in building these structures. So let us carry on with that promise that we have made to build better more. Let us not just build roads, let us build connections that will unite and bring us closer than ever and create pathways that will be, that will be the stream through which our vibrant society will pulse. With all of these, we are creating a nation where Filipinos may easily access and traverse our communities and have a comfortable and productive time as they do it. That is the vision of a bagong Pilipinas that we are striving to build. And I know that it is a vision which we all share and care deeply about. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas.